Okay, Joy Blue here, and where are the Windows 7 Jet drivers? So those are the drivers you use for like ODBC, and they allow you to interact with Access and, and other tools, uh, Microsoft Excel, um, and interact with databases. And where are they? Um, I went to look for them today, and they weren't there. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I am going to go where I'd normally go for ODBC drivers, hit Start, go to administrative tools and then head over to data sources ODBC open that up and it gives you some user DSNs and system DSNs and stuff well, I would go to add and I've got four drivers there I have a MySQL one because I've used it to interact with MySQL and I've got some SQL server ones but there should be a ton more of these and I don't know where they're at so I did a little research and well I'm running Windows 7 64 bit and by default, whenever you open up the ODBC, you get the 64-bit ODBC. Well, the JET drivers do not have ODBC. So, um, I'm sorry, do not have ODBC for 64-bit. But they do have 32-bit ODBC. So, what we need to do is figure out where in the world this ODBC 32-bit is. Well, I got the answer for you. So, let's, let's go find this thing. Um, I'm going to open up my Windows Explorer. I need to drag it over this way. And I am going to just go down to my C drive and Windows and the SysWow64. And then we'll type in O to get down to the O's. And there is ODBC. And which one of these is it? I think it's this one here. ODBC AD for administration and 32. So let's click on that. And I've got another ODBC data source there. So let me go ahead and do the add and look at that. There are a bunch of drivers, and in particular the one I was looking for, which is the Microsoft Access driver right there. And so I've got more drivers. And so I've run into this before um, when I was trying to hook up some Oracle stuff, or I can't remember what it was, but um, and I had the solution, so I thought I'd go ahead and record this. Now I want to take it just one step further here for you so that you don't have to find this every time you're looking for it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create a shortcut in the administrative tool window. So we know we want this location, but now what we want to do is go to the administrative tools, and I'm just going to right click and open it. And this is all the shortcuts that are there. Um, and it has the shortcut, if I right click on that and go to properties, to the other, um, to the ODBC for the 64 bit. And so we want to make a copy of that. So the first thing I have to do is I need to find the location of this. If you look up in the address bar, it says control panel, system and security, administrative tools. Well, the real location is, I've got it over here, I'm just going to paste it in. Program Data, Microsoft Windows, Start Menu, Programs, Administrative Tools. And so if I go there, now I'm at the real location. So all I have to do is take this ODBC, make a copy of it, paste it back in, and it says you need administrative permissions. Sure, that's fine. So now I've got a copy of it. I'm going to rename it with F2, call it 32-bit. And I am going to continue. And so now I just need to go to the properties. And I need to change this, these two things here. Let me go back over to my other window. I need this location. I need the SysWow64 is what I really need. So let me go back over. And it says System32. I'm going to put in SysWow64. I'm going to hit apply. And yes, I want administrative permissions. And so now let me go into my start menu, administrative tools, and now I've got 32 bit ODBC. I hit add, and there's my drivers. So now it's in the, the little window there. And as always, if you find this helpful, please leave a comment below, click the like button, or subscribe to my channel. You can also visit me at sqltrainingonline.com and I, I hope you enjoyed this free video.